Crystal, one of my favorite, fabulous, awesome subscribers. She wanted to know what brushes are my faves. So we're about to talk some brushes. If you'd like to know what brushes I think you need in your makeup collection, then just keep watching. This shirt is like huge. Like I could eat, I could eat whatever I wanted. I could grow a couple babies under here. <laughs> it's huge, but it's super comfortable. All right, let's talk brushes. Hold on, before we do that, are you subscribed to my channel? <laughs> if not, I'll wait. Okay. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I have an upcoming video. When I hit 250 subscribers, that is my first goal. My next goal is like a million. Uh, when I hit 250, we're going to do a huge giveaway. So let's get to that 250 and let's do that giveaway. All right, let's talk some brushes. So let's start with... Let's start with my favorite blush brush. In fact, it's not just my favorite. It's the only one that I'll use. Every other blush brush has disappointed me. This one is perfect. It is the IT Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta. I think that's what they're called. Oh, it's just IT Brushes for Ulta. Oh, <laughs> it's a dual-ended brush. I rarely ever use this end. The only time I use this end is if I'm going to contour my nose with powder because I'm in a rush. So I'll just take it like this. So I do use it, but it's a rare occasion. This is the end that I use. So it's very densely packed down here. And then it sort of fans up and the top is super, super soft. So this is the only, only brush you will ever see me use for blush. I got it at Ulta. It, I'll try to find the links for these brushes and put them down below, but I'm not 100% sure they're all still available, but hopefully they are. This brush is also an IT brushes for Ulta. This is what I do use when I powder contour. Now, of late, I've been doing mostly cream contour, so I don't use this very often, but if I powder contour, this is my girl. Um, it's flat on this side, and then it's long here, so it's perfect to just get in that contour area and contour it out. So if you use powder contour, this is your girl. Okay. This is my favorite powder brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. Super soft. Super soft. It's big. It's full. It's fluffy. It's soft. It's perfect for putting on that powder. Now, I apply my setting powder with a damp beauty blender. The only time I apply with powder is if I'm having a low makeup day or I have a very very matte foundation and I don't want to use a lot of powder but when you apply your powder press it in don't rub because you're going to disturb your foundation and maybe leave it streaky maybe make it cakey so just put a little powder on here and press it into your skin and this is a very inexpensive brush okay this next brush probably costs more than all my brushes I'm going to show you today together but I love her. She's my bitch. <laughs> and it's the best brush purchase I've ever made. So this is by Marc Jacobs. This is what I use to bronze my face. This has a dome shape. So like on the edges, the bristles are very short. And then they gradually get longer as they go to the middle. And it's so soft. So this is what I use to bronze my face and it's perfect and it's amazing and it's expensive. All right, 
This brush I actually got. It's a crown brush. I got it my boxy charm. So I'll try to find the link for it because it doesn't say what kind of brush it is. But it's 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 so soft. It feels like a little angel kiss. If you know, I've never been kissed by an angel, but I imagine that's what it feels like. This is perfect for dusting away your bake under your eyes because it is so soft. So you want to be careful that you use a really soft brush to do that because if not, you're going to move. It's the same thing with the face powder brush. But this, you do have to use a sweeping motion. So you want to use the right brush because you don't want to disturb that concealer. So this one is so perfect for that. All right, we have another Real Techniques brush. This is my jam for my highlighter. You see a lot of people on YouTube use fan brushes for highlighter. I don't get it. I don't feel like you have the right precision and control with a fan brush. I own a fan brush. Never use it. This cheap little Real Techniques brush is perfect. It's called a setting brush. I don't know what the hell you would set with this. But it it's soft and it's not densely packed, but it's just dense enough that it gives you a... a a lot of control right which is what I want with highlighter I want to be very precise with my highlighter right so this just allows me to perfectly place my highlighter love it all right let's move over to the eyes I'm gonna give you all a couple of different options with the eyes so first let's talk all right I only gave you gonna give you one option for this one this is the morphe m504 very soft, um, not too densely packed. This is the perfect brush for your transition color. I don't use any other brush for my transition. M504. This is the only brush that I recommend for a transition because it's perfect. Perfect. All right, now we got a couple of crease brush options. Um, Four of them are from Morphe. <laughs> um, these four, they're all a little different. Um, I would say these three are pretty similar. Um, they're packed in, a, well, these are, these are the exact same two. So this is the M433 from Morphe. Um, they're packed in a little different where this is rounded all the way around. This one's flat. Um, on one side, but I think they work about the same. So this is what I use for my inner crease up onto that bone. So this Morphe come from the rose gold set, as did this one, and they don't have numbers or anything on them. I guess you have to get the rose gold set, but this one is just as good. This one is just as perfect. This is the M433 again. I have two of those because I love it that much. These are both crease brushes, but they're a little different. So this one, like the, like the Morphe one I just showed you, it's a little more for blending the crease. This one by Morphe is when you want a little more precision on your eye. Um, but they're both really good crease brushes. Now, this one by Morphe and this one by a brand called BSS Mall are almost identical. So these are both great for that crease, for that inner crease and up into the brow bone. They give you precision, but they also help blend. This BS Mall I got on Amazon and it come with a ton of brushes, a ton of brushes for $12 and some change. So I'll link that one down below and I, I did not like any of the face brushes that came in that set, but you'll see there's several of their eye brushes that I love. And as you can tell, this is almost identical to this Morphe one that I really like. So if you got this set, there's probably a lot of brushes like myself that you're not going to use, but for $12, even if you just use three or four, it's worth it, right? So those are my crease brushes. Now, to pack onto my eyelid, if I'm putting color on the lid, 
that doesn't require like to wet my brush or doesn't require some serious packing like if it's just a regular eyeshadow I go for this ColourPop brush it's the E13 so it's very soft and it's good to just put that color on the lid okay but if the color that I'm using is a glitter or a shimmer one of those that I'm going to wet the brush and really pack it on there I'm going to go for this BS Mall brush it is super flat and it's kind of stiff with just a little bit of give so you spray your brush with this dip it into like the chocolate gold palette and you literally just pack it on there and this brush is perfect for that I'm telling you this this BS Mall pack of brushes there's some good brushes in there all right next y'all this was a cheap brush when I bought it like five years ago uh, it says it's a concealer brush I don't know what you'd be concealing with that teeny tiny little brush but I don't know the name of it I don't know the brand I don't know where I got it probably Walmart um, but see how tiny and stiff and flat it is it is perfect when I want to use not when I want to blend a color on my bottom lash we'll get to those in a minute but when I want to put like like if I'm using a bright blue and I don't want bright blue like dragging all the way down my eyes right I want a pretty straight line but somewhat blended out this is what I use I don't I can't tell you where to get this but if you find one like it I would jump on it so like I said it needs to be stiff tiny and very flat all right now we're going to get to blending under the under eye so I lay down oh I forgot a brush I always take whatever transition shade I used up here I take the transition shade here and you can put it on a little little thick bring it down uh, you don't have to be as precise with that one. And so for that, I use the Morphe M507. It's very soft, almost like the crease brush, but it's smaller. So it's perfect for putting that transition shade on your bottom lash. Then I want to go in with the same crease color, maybe, um, but on my bottom. So I don't want that, that color to come down as far as that transition, right? Um, so I would use more of a rounded brush like these so I have three we won't talk about this one because I don't know the name brand or where to get it but all of these pretty much do the same job they're both dome shaped they're both they're all pretty stiff right um, this one came in that BS small set this one came in the Morphe Rose Gold set, and this one is an It Brushes for Ulta. Of the three, I do like the It Brushes for Ulta more. I think it lays down color a little bit better, but essentially, they're all three going to do the same job. These came in those packs, so they don't have names, but this one is the number 124 airbrush precision smudger by it brushes for Ulta so they all kind of do the same job um, so any of them that you get like if you get that BS small set this works just fine I, you wouldn't need to go get an additional brush so probably that whole set costs less than this one brush <laughs> and all three of these do the same okay my last two brushes, both from the BS Mall, I both use them for the same thing. Um, this one is a perfect inner corner highlight, um, and it's really good for highlighting up here. It's good. I like this one better. So it's really more of a personal preference. This one is curved, or it's rounded all the way around. This one is flat on one edge. So this one's probably a little better for your inner corner but I'm always in such a hurry I use this for the inner corner and under my brow bone so I put it on my inner corner like this and it's perfect for putting a little highlight under that brow bone perfect 
um, because it's flat, it's small, it's stiff. So those are my inner highlight and my brow bone highlights. So those are all the brushes that I recommend or that I can't live without or that are my holy grail brushes. As you can see, they range from very inexpensive to, whew, bitch broke the bank. <laughs> But they're my favorite brushes. And for me, I don't care what the, the price point is. I need my brush to work. So whether you, you know, probably were valued at about a dollar in that BS Small Pack from Amazon. Or if you're a Marc Jacobs, like, bougie bitch. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I need you to work. Uh, and those are all the brushes that really work for me. All right, my loves, until next time.